Good morning. My name is Odie Perkins. Uh, this morning I want to uh, talk about something that's very important and that is my son. This is David Edward Perkins. He was in the 82nd Airborne, stationed at Fort Bragg. He served in Iraq and served in Afghanistan. He'd been home, he came home uh, been home about a month and a half and he got hit by a a man driving a commercial truck with no CDO license, no health card, two DUIs, and a lot of other convictions. The man got two years probation, two years suspended sentence, some work hours, lost his driving license, walked out to court a free man and uh, I want to make this clear I have never not one time I had three opportunities that I could have done something to these two men the owner of the company and the man that hit my son people said well why didn't you try to kill him why didn't I? Because of my integrity. Because I would destroy my son's integrity and I would destroy my integrity. I have to live with this every day. Sure, I could have retaliated, but God said vengeance is mine, so I didn't. So every day I get up every morning and I say good morning to you. I love you. And every night I say good night, Ted. I love you. But you know what? It won't bring my son back because this man was a drunk driver. Now, this is a gun. This is an MP9 Smith & Wesson. I want to explain something real quick about guns. I respect guns. You should be, you should be, always safety first with guns. Always. And what's so important is, is that you do not threaten to harm anyone with a gun unless they are going to harm you, and you can use the castle, the castle doctrine in North Carolina to protect yourself. That means that you can shoot them if they try to harm you. The other thing is I want to show you is this a friend of mine gave me this bottle. It's, it's called Snops. It's liquor. He said it's liquor. Now, I want to show you something real quick. Guns and liquor don't mix. And you know what? There's more people killed by this right here. More accidents, more drunk drivers than all the guns that are put together in the United States. Why am I making this point? Is because it's so important to realize that when people get in their car or get into their truck and they have been drinking at home and they go back to the store to get more beer, more liquor, more wine, they can hit someone. That's not a threat. That's a fact. And it happens every day. And the thing that we need to realize is that when that drunk hits your father, mother, son, daughter, grandfather, grandfather, grandmother, best friend, or loved one. It's too late when they're dead or when they're, they're maimed for the rest of their life because of what that drunk did. This is a fact. People that 
the drink. If they want to stop, they can stop. But you know what? If they don't want to stop, they're not going to. And there's nothing that you can do except take a stand. And you know what? When they finally get caught, they go hire a crooked lawyer. And let me say in plural, crooked lawyers to get them out of this. They're going to pay out their tail. I can tell you that right now. But you know what? That's not going to stop them from going back out here again and doing the same thing or hurting someone. What I'm trying to say today is, is that I cannot bring my son back. All the money in the world, it don't matter about money. What it matters about is that I don't have a son anymore. So you know what? You can do what you want to. You can, you can talk about me. You can take me to court. You can say I did this or I did that or whatever. But you know what? I'm going to keep fighting the drunks as long as I live. I don't stalk anybody. But I have asked for help from a certain county for certain people to catch them and to stop them from driving on the road. I will not disclose that. I've got that information in hand and I will use it if I when, when the time is ready but I will tell you this you will someday get caught and you will serve time because that's my son I love him and he's dead I thank you for all your support I thank for it I thank everyone for their love I thank Brian Shipwash for standing by me like he has. I thank Mark Payne, a doctor that's been so good to me. Mike Gayen has been there for me. Larry Thompson, my cousin, my neighbors, Kent and Mike, my beautiful wife, Karen. I love all of you, and I appreciate you. And I appreciate all of the people on Facebook that has supported me in my stand against drunk driving. May God bless you. May God bless our troops. And, and may in God we trust. And I pray to God that we will have a change in Washington because our, our economy is screwed up. Thank you and have a great day. And I hope, I hope that you can change someone's life and stop people from, from drinking and driving and killing others. Have a great day. This is Cowboy Eddie. Happy trails until we meet again.